is your best friend? Bob. Hello and welcome to the Journey Today Show. And I know what you're asking, where's James and Jeremy today? We're at beautiful Sky Ranch in Oklahoma. It's, this place is awesome. Yeah, we're here today to tell you about our amazing family camp that's coming up in August 2nd to the 4th. Yeah. Sign up, sign ups open in just a couple of weeks. It's like we took man camp and kids camp and we're crashing them two together in like fun for the whole family. I, I can't wait. We have been having so much fun while we've been here. Oh yeah. Should we, should we show them what we've been doing? Yeah. Take a look. Okay, for more information about the weekend, visit AbundantLifeLS.com slash Family Camp. It's going to be a great time. We have had so much fun, in part because we're friends and because of the activities here. But you know what? This all does tie into what we were talking about today in the Bible, in our Bible story. Now, the Bible doesn't say it, but I think that Samuel and Eli were very handsome men. Let's take a look at this Bible story. Hmm. Samuel! No! Huh? Hmm? What was that? Oh my goodness. It must have been Eli. I jumped down again. Ah! Uh, ow! <laughs> hey, <laughs> Eli! Get up! What are you doing? Get me. Back to you bed. <laughs> Samuel! No! It must have been Eli. I jumped down again. Ah! Uh, ow! <laughs> Get up! What? It was me! You called? What are you doing out of it? Go back to bed. Stop bothering me! <laughs> Samuel! Ah! Oh, oh, who's that? Eli! Oh, I gotta get him. It must have been Eli. I jumped down again. Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey, Eli, get up! Doing? Next time, say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Stop bothering me. Samuel! Ah! Oh, oh, wait. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. The really cool thing about that story is how God called Samuel by name. Samuel didn't recognize the voice at first, but it helps us to understand that God knows us by name. He knows my name, he knows your name, he knows your name, he knows everything about you, and he wants a relationship with you. He wants to be your friend. Yeah, our big idea, you even said it while you were talking, is that God knows my name. You know what? It's awesome. Let me get into today's scripture. It's in John 10, verse 27. If you got your Bible, open it up and read this with us or read it right here on the screen. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Hmm. All right, man, that verse is awesome, James. But you know what? It's cool how much God knows us. It really is amazing. But I'm thinking since we're here at Sky Ranch that we should play a game. Oh, and I'm wondering... Yes. Who knows more about each other? Do you know more about me or do I know more about you? So we're gonna play a little game. I've got some sheets right here. This could be quite scary. And let's have some fun with it because we are at where we're having family camp. All right. We'll say mm -hmm. uh, the winner wins and uh, the loser has to jump in the spring fed lake. You know how cold that is. It's cold in <laughs> August. It's the fall right now. It's going to be crazy. So 
we'll just right. we'll play this game. What do you think? Let's do it. Okay, so first question is my favorite food. So I have to write mine and then yep, your you favorite write, food. You write your favorite food on the top and what you feel like my favorite food is okay. on the bottom. Okay. Now here's the way this works. We've got five cards. Yep. <clears throat> to get a correct answer, you must say what the other person said on their sheet. The person at the end of the five rounds that has the highest score wins, loser jumps in the spring fed lake. Sounds good. All right. I hope you're looking forward to getting wet. All right, favorite food. I said Thai food and said you Cornish pasty. <laughs> no, I was curry, but I said you like Thai food. Ooh, that's one zero to one James. One point for James. Favorite sports team? I said Liverpool. And I said for you, Mizzou. Ah, I said Missouri Tigers and I said Liverpool. So that's a point for point each, each of us. Good, Two good, one good, James. Good, good. All right. My biggest fear for me, I said snakes. For you, I said heights. Heights? Snakes. Nice. <laughs> All right. We Three, got it. Two, Three, two, James. All right. Favorite place to go on vacation. Yeah. I like to go to the Algarve in Portugal. <laughs> and I said for you, Colorado. Yeah, I think yeah, I said the mountains for me and Branson, Missouri Branson. for you. <laughs> yeah, I love so Branson. Hey, Colorado is mountains. I'll get a point for that, surely. Yeah. So yes. So that's Four. Four, two. All Four, right. Four, two. Oh, man. My favorite hobby or activity. Yeah. I put, for me, football. Yeah. Soccer, like yeah, yeah. for our viewers. Yeah. What did you, and for you, mountain biking. Yeah, I put, for me, mountain biking, and for you, fishing. I win. James, you, you know. get wet um, in the spring. Yeah. Hey, this is fun as friends. And, you know, like I said, I want to hit our big idea one more time. That God knows you by name and he wants to have a relationship with you. And, and he wants to have a relationship with you so much that he sent Jesus here to be able for us to have a relationship. And so we got a couple of discussion questions about this. So what do we need to do to have a relationship with God? Discuss. Press pause now. All right, I hope that was a good discussion. I have another question for you. Think about our story and how God called out to Samuel. So my question for all of you guys is this. How can we hear God speak to us? Press pause and discuss now. All right, great discussion. Well, that's it from us here at Sky Ranch. Sign-ups begin in January for our family camp. First ever, I'm super excited. There is so much fun stuff to do. And speaking of which, I believe it's just about time for me to take the swim in the spring. I'm looking forward to hey, seeing that. We got a bunch of Sky Ranch <laughs> swag while we're here and we wanna give it away to you. So tell us what you're most looking forward to in family camp and we'll give you some stuff. Skeet shooting for me. <laughs> I like the sports stuff. <laughs> See you next week. See ya. Let's do this, Jeremy. You can do it. Come on. It's not actually that cold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Is it cold? <laughs>